In this video, I want to compare and contrast the Shun Classic and Wushdorf Classic filleting knife. The entire point of a filleting knife is to be flexible and to be used on fish. And what you do is you go in through the back of the head, flex it down, and then pull everything through to both separate the skin from the flesh and the flesh from the bones. So these knives are meant to be flexible. I think the Shun has a very beautiful flex to it. It's very consistent all the way through so you know what's going on. And that's because they use a different metal to actually make this knife than their standard VG Max. That's why it doesn't have a Damascus finish. The Wushdorf, first off, has a very, very weird shape to it. It's almost like a scimitar. And the second thing is that its flex is not really that nice. It feels almost like they used a very similar steel to the ones they normally use in the rest of their knives and then just thinned it out really, really hard towards the tip to make it flex just because it has such little uh, sort of rigidity to it. The next thing I want to talk about is the actual shape. Because this thing curves so hard, it becomes very, very tough to figure out what you're cutting and what you're not cutting versus this blade which really gives you an idea as you're pulling through exactly where the blade is. Finally, this is a traditionally shaped uh, handle, which means the bolster is a full bolster. This is not sharp, this is not sharp, and really all it does is get in the way and smash things as you're trying to flay a fish. They both have full tangs. The Shun has a traditional Japanese black pack of wood handle in a D shape, so when you hold it, it just sort of fills in your palm and feels great. The Wushdorf has a traditional German handle made of black plastic, so it is not, I would say, as ergonomic as the Shun is. They both have lifetime warranties, but the Shun also comes with lifetime sharpening for free, which I personally think is a great thing, especially if you don't want to spend a lot of money sharpening your knives and you also don't want to have to do it yourself at home. I'll put a link down to both below, if you have any questions, any comments, or any concerns, as always, let me know. And otherwise, I will talk to you very, very soon.